All right, going to show you some proof that John MacArthur has an Antichrist spirit and that he himself actually condemns himself as an Antichrist and that the Bible that he uses, the modern Vatican version, is just perverted to the core. I mean, it, it's just so wicked. That's why I call it a perversion, of a Bible perversion. But in this clip right here, in 11 minutes and 38 seconds in, he's preaching against Roman Catholicism, the false religion, and the false gospel that the uh, Satanic Catholic Church preaches. But he actually is starts talking about the Antichrist, and he actually condemns himself as an Antichrist. Let me show you the verse. 1 John 4, 3. And every spirit that confesseth not that Jesus Christ is come, present tense, is come in the flesh, is not of God, and this is that spirit of Antichrist, whereof ye have heard it, that it should come, and even, even now already is it in the world. So Jesus Christ is come, present tense. Well, you're going to see right here, he says Jesus Christ came in the flesh. And in, in this uh, clip, it's even worse. I mean, I mean, stay tuned, but let's see what he says right here. 11 minutes and 38 seconds in. That's the timestamp. He is the final and ultimate Antichrist. But just to make it clear, there are many Antichrists. There are many forms of Antichrist. Anybody who denies that Jesus came in the flesh is an Antichrist. See that? Anyone who denies that Jesus came in the flesh. Um, the Word of God says, is come, not came. He just proves he has an Antichrist spirit. Because again, if, you're, if your spirit confesses not that Jesus Christ is come, you have an Antichrist spirit. According to that passage, he has an Antichrist spirit. Because he's saying that Jesus came in the flesh. Now, this clip is even worse. I mean, in 2 minutes and 28 seconds in, he just he reads from his perverted modern Vatican version. And, and the Bible he's reading is so perverted. I mean, it, it just completely twists the word of God. and almost makes Jesus out to be the Antichrist. But, I mean, in one of the verses he reads, it says that Jesus Christ is coming and that kind of stuff. And, and ridiculous. Anyway, it just let's get right into it. I mean, I, I, was gonna, I, I mean words can't even describe it. That's how perverted it is. Uh, let's get right into it. All of human history. And to show you that, I want you to look at 1 John for just a moment. 1 John chapter 2. In 1 John chapter 2, look at verse 18. Okay, 1 John chapter 2, verse 18. I want, I want to make sure we get the Word of God, not His uh, Catholic uh, Bible per perversions of the Bible. You know, They're not versions, they're perversions. Uh, Okay, let's keep playing the clip. John writes that it is the last hour. In other words, we're living in the last days, the messianic days since Christ has come, constitute the last days, the last hour. It is the last hour. And just as you heard that Antichrist is coming, even now many Antichrists have appeared. From this we know that it is the last hour. Then down in verse 22, who is the liar but the one who denies that Jesus is the Christ? This is the Antichrist. Oh, so he says this is the Antichrist. And who is the liar? Uh, verse 22 in the, in the Word of God says, Who is a liar but he that denieth that Jesus is the Christ? He is Antichrist that denieth the Father and the Son. What's it saying? Well, it's basically saying that if you deny that Jesus is the Christ, then you have an Antichrist spirit. That's what it's talking about. Uh, it's not saying you're the Antichrist. But again, his, his modern Vatican versions twist it. The one who denies the Father and the Son. So there is a final Antichrist, but there are, in the meantime, many Antichrists, and they are all defined as those who deny the true Christ and his relationship to his Father. In chapter 4, again, of 1 John, and verse 3. Chapter 4. Verse 3. Okay. Again, again, I want to make sure we get the Word of God, not his Catholic Bible perversion. Which is funny. Again, he's preaching against Catholicism, but he's using their Bibles. Sure. We read, Every spirit that does not confess Jesus is not from God. This is the spirit of the Antichrist. Um, so we confess that Jesus Christ is not from God. Um, the Word of God says, if, if you confess not, it says, and if every spirit that confesses not that Jesus is come in the flesh is not of God. So it's not saying if you, if you confess that Jesus is of God, then you have an antichrist spirit. It's saying if you confess that Jesus is, if you don't confess that he is come in the flesh, then you're not of God. It doesn't say if you confess that Jesus is, is not of God, then you have an antichrist spirit. He just changed the Word of God. His modern Vatican version just changed the Word of God. It's ridiculous. 
which you have heard that it is coming, and now it is already in the world. Yes, there is a future embodiment of the ultimate Antichrist, but in the meantime, the spirit of Antichrist is in the world. The second letter that John wrote, 2 John, verse, uh, second John. verse 7. 2 John, verse 7. Again, trying to make sure we get the Word of God here, because uh, his Catholic Bible is, is just perverting the Scripture. 2 John 1, 7. Okay. He says, For many deceivers have gone out into the world, those who do not acknowledge Jesus Christ as coming in the flesh, this is the deceiver and the antichrist. Um, Jesus is coming in the flesh. Um, he is coming in the flesh. Again, the verse. What does the verse say? First John one seven or Second John one seven. For many deceivers are entered into the world who confess not that Jesus is come in the flesh. This is a deceiver and an antichrist. So John MacArthur is a, a deceiver according to this passage. He's not confessing that Jesus is come in the flesh. So I want to show you guys that. I mean, just perverted the Bible he uses. And he is he just admits to being an antichrist. He just condemns himself. Sorry, my cat is on. Just My cat just jumped on my computer. I was reading some of them this week. Sorry about that. Kitty, kitty, you're okay. Kitty, you're fine. Sorry about that. My cat just jumped on. But yeah, he just he just admits to being an antichrist. He just condemns himself. So, yeah, don't, don't be deceived Speak by John MacArthur. Sorry. Don't be deceived by John MacArthur. Uh, he does have an antichrist spirit, according to scripture, and his modern Vatican version is antichrist to the core. So don't be deceived. God bless you. Goodbye.